We're in Long Island. It's middle of October. And we're throwing the daughters in this fast moving rip that's moving right to left. Basically casting about two o'clock. And, and the fish on. Oh Lord. I love fishing. Uh, not that big of a fish, but not that bad. So we wanted to show you a little action footage with using dart as a night. I wish we could show you how did they swim, but uh, not a bad fish. Not too big either. We've been catching a lot bigger than that tonight. Of course, once you put the camera on, the fish just, oh, that's a green little fish. Huh? Wow. Not a happy fish. Not a happy fish at all. Oh, we'll get you on your way. Give us one second. Oh, fun, there it goes. Wow. That was a nice release. Now, let's see if we can do this again. Oh. Anyway, we've been fishing for a while tonight. And we've been getting some real nice fish. Somewhere between 15 and 22 pounds, which are a lot bigger than we've been getting. Last few nights, we've been getting smaller fish. These six to nine pounds. They were on sand eels. For whatever reason, tonight, the fish got a little bit bigger. There's some bigger bait in the area that are splashing around. I don't know what they are. And uh, I was hoping to get a back-to-back -back fish. That's not going to happen. Let's make another cast. The fish are on the end of the cast. There's a rip line that extends from my, from my right to the left, we've got some eelgrass in the water that's hooking up on every cast. So you basically cast about a one o'clock and let it swing into the let it swing in into the rip. Uh, it's three o'clock in the morning, so thankfully there's not a lot of people around. But these fish have been really, really aggressively feeding here tonight and taking daughters. Right now I'm using the Wally daughters, the wood one. But we've been using Super Strike all night long and just crushing the fish on them. And you basically let your daughter swing to about 11, maybe 10 o'clock. Then you gotta crank it back up because all the fish are just holding on into the rip and nothing's, they're not really feeding close. We're not getting any hits close. Everything that we got, it's far out and again, this eelgrass is a really, really pain in the ass. It needs to make a long cast in order to get a hit. And if you don't get a hit from the first 10 cranks, in general, you're not going to get it. So you basically let your daughter swing with the current and you just feel that resistance. And there's no need to jerk. There's no need to do anything. It's just straight retrieve while you feel the tension and once the tension is gone just pick up your plug and get it back make another cast the simplicity of daughters is beautiful it's big plug attracts big fish because it imitates bigger bait and anybody can work it although i know some people ah, i got it eel grass full of plug full of grass uh, some people i know have issues with a daughter because they feel they can't feel it working, but if you feel resistance on your plug and you're using a good daughter, a super strike daughter, then you don't need to worry about if it's working right. It's working right. It's doing its thing. You just need to feel the resistance. I just got a bump, but it's just, here we go. Here we go, fish. There. And there he goes. Oh, well. Oh, that was exciting, but. All right, we'll make it one more cast before we shut the camera off and let our common man Tommy go back to do what he loves to do best, which is catching fish at 3 a.m.
kind of sucks you have to make these gigantic long casts and only working a plug for the first 10 feet or 20 feet, whatever it is. But sometimes that's just the way the fish set up and you need that long cast to get them. And tonight that's definitely the case. Long casts, first 20 yards, cranks, and there she goes. Nice fish. Nice fish. I like drag pulling. That is nice sound. All right. Well, my cameraman was right. One more cast was definitely the medicine here. And after we unhook this fish, we are going to shut the camera off and do actually what we like to do is fish. We like to show you stuff, but we also like to fish. Yeah, come on, puppy. Let's go to this side. All right. Got a respectable fish. Nothing wrong with that fish. Nothing wrong with that fish. Nothing wrong with that fish. Where are you? Oh, nice. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was awesome. And now my cameraman can go back and catch some fish for himself. Have a good night. Oh yeah. All right, my friend. You go on your merry way. Be well, grow old, and shall I see you again, maybe? I sure hope so. Take care, guys.